If we get a flat tire on our car, we can easily lift the car weighing hundreds of kilos and change the tire by using a jack. So how does this little tool turn the small force we apply into a force that's big enough to lift a car? The answer lies with a principle discovered by the French scientist and mathematician Blaise Pascal. According to Pascal's principle, in an enclosed system that's filled with an incompressible fluid, a pressure change is transmitted through the fluid without any loss. This means when we apply a force and move the first piston, the other piston will move in the opposite direction. Because the force we apply to the first piston creates an additional pressure in the fluid, and this pressure is evenly distributed throughout the fluid, the pressure created in the area just below the second piston causes the piston to move upwards. According to Pascal's principle, the change of pressure in the fluid depends on the force we apply and the base area of the pistons. The pressure change created in the fluid is transmitted equally everywhere throughout the system. This means that the pressure is always equal under the first piston and the second piston. However, if we change the base area of the pistons, we can change the force exerted on the second piston. Suppose the radius of the first piston is 10 centimeters and the radius of the second is 100 centimeters. When we apply a force to the first piston, it creates a pressure change in the fluid and this change is transmitted to the base of the second piston. Since the radius of the second piston is different than the radius of the first piston, the force exerted on the second piston 100 times more force than that applied to the first. This doesn't violate the law of conservation of energy because the displacement of the pistons isn't the same. In our example, when the first piston moves 50 centimeters downward, the second piston moves only 0.5 centimeter upward, 100 times less. Therefore, the law of conservation of energy holds. So now we know how a hydraulic jack works. Thanks to the valves in the system that transmit the fluid in one direction, the force applied to the small piston turns into a force big enough to lift our car.